Hey guys from YouTube, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game playthrough for the game Exit the Game, The Catacombs of Horror by Cosmos, the two to four player, two to four hour, two part game where we're trying to exit the Catacombs of Horror. Join us here, all four of us, where we try to attempt to escape within the time limit. This is an expert level game, one of their most challenging versions. I've played a few of them before, and if you'd like to see some of those, down below, linked in the comments section. I'll show you guys the game down below, and we'll begin playing literally right now. Here we have the game Exit all set up for us. Now, we just opened it. It's brand new. We haven't actually even played it or anything. Obviously, these are the type of games that are going to be... Have some interesting components. Oh, what the heck is this? It's a candle. Yeah, yeah. I hmm. came with a candle. Don't open this box until you've solved the specific riddle. Oh, so there's like a whole bunch of little little goodies here. A big box of cards, the rule book here, just all kinds of stuff. We might even be using this box, actually. Sometimes that happens in the game. There's clues and stuff like that <laughs> on the box, and we'll have to use them to solve the, the riddles of, uh, wow. I don't know, who done it. Maybe over... Oh, Perfect. There. Yeah, there you go. great. Completely out of the blue, a letter arrives from Ben, your good friend from a renowned archaeologist. He reports on his latest adventure, but fears it's starting to get out of hand. If you don't hear from him in the next few days, he wants you to look for him. The location is not exactly reassuring. It's the catacombs of Paris, where the remaining or, or more than six million people lie buried. Actually, what's the catacombs of Paris? That one really good movie. Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Um, above, below. So above as below? Uh, as above, as so, above below. so below. That's the one. Really good. <laughs> really good horror movie. Uh, still hoping to hear from Ben. You wait for days without any word. Eventually, there's no way around it. You have to look for your friend and help him escape from his unfortunate situation. You dig out of his out his letter again, and the envelope contains the lines written to you. A Polaroid photo, an old disc. You wonder why he chose to send you this information so cryptically. Only if you can work together to figure out these mysteries and solve the riddles will you be able to solve, save Ben. Solve Ben. Otherwise, <laughs> he's not the only one who will be lost forever in the catacombs of horror. No. Unlike the other previous games, this game consists of two parts, playing one today. The entire game has more riddles and takes longer. At the middle of the game, you'll have an opportunity to break and continue playing later or another day. And of course, you can also play both parts in one sitting if you'd like. We do not like. It's too long. We're going to take a break. Yes. <laughs> uh, but we will do another uh, episode. If so, there'll be a link when we make it. Get that done. Okay, next, moving on. Important, don't look closely at any of the game materials. Okay, we explained that already. The game materials come with a bunch of cards. Cards, cards, box, candle, a cult-like object, support stand, bone staff, a decoder disc, uh, a letter, a ring, a column, a poster, a frame, Polaroid, and some skulls. In addition, you'll need some writing implements, ballpoint pens, pencils, an eraser, one or more sheets of paper, scissors, a lighter, matches, uh, a watch, ideally a stopwatch. We have phones here. And as an alternative, you can use a digital timer with the atmospheric soundtrack. Oh, that's nice. Just select the game in the Cosmos Helper app and click on the hourglass. Never allow the tea candlelight to be unsuper... Okay, we're not reading that. Yeah, we're all no old worries. enough. Whoa. We're all over 25, so... At least I think we are. Uh, game set. Get the letter, okay. get the Polaroid, and the decoder disc. Can we do The this? letter... Sorry, what The Polaroid and the decoder disc. Decoder disc. That's... Those now, it? this is the. Oh, this is the. That's a, okay, that's, where's the Polaroid? The decoder disc is oh, a circle, okay. and the Polaroid is a picture. Yeah, yep. that one. Okay, okay, so these ones we can set aside, I guess, hopefully. Off to, off to the side. We'll use you later. Probably the cards at some point, too. Yeah, one of the doodle 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 right doodle. away. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and, and, and the cards, okay. <laughs> ready on the table. Leave everything else in the box for now. Sort the cards into three piles according to what is written on the back sides. Riddle cards, answer cards, and help cards. And uh, like most of the other uh, games from the Exit series, they're always going to be a big stack of cards. Uh, some of them um, usually have the riddles and then the answers and whatnot. Here's and there's riddles. clues, too. Yeah. Here's... All right, and see here, it says stop, caution. Do not yet take a look closer at the playing Answer. materials, card, books, etc. First, read the rule book together. Okay, well, I can move on without this card. And then help card. All right, so we got all of our cards here. Oh, yeah. That's useful. Okay. You got all your help cards. What's that yellow one on the bottom? A stop card. Okay. Yeah, just the secret. like the top one. Okay. Uh, check to sh make sure that the riddle cards and answer cards are arranged according to uh, by their letters and numbers. Sort mm -hmm. the help cards according to their symbols and place them at the edge of the table. Place cards with the same symbols on top of another with the first clue card on top of the second clue card of the ladder on the bottom of the answer card. Yeah. They're, they're already preset. Yep. It's easy. 
Uh, where is the game board? There is no game board. You'll have to figure out yourself for yourself. We'll need to find the game and what the rooms look like. At the beginning of the game, you will only have the letter, the Polaroid, and the decoder disc available to you. As the game keeps going, you'll add the riddle cards, either to be found in illustrations or referred to in the text. When this happens, you can take the corresponding cards from the riddle card pile and look at them. You may likewise only use the strange items and locked or sealed things when explicitly told uh, that you have found them. Until then, leave them in the box. So things like this we don't use until it says so. When you see an illustration looks like this, you may immediately take the corresponding card from the pile in the case riddle card L and look at it. So in the case of the finding, actually like literally say riddle card L with like a little like little thing on it. So like that one, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, let's, we can look at the card there. That might be the one we can mm -hmm. we'll, we'll find out. Yep, the goal of the game is to free Ben from the catacombs as, with as, in as little time as possible. This would definitely be easier if every lock were not guarded by a riddle. As soon as the game starts, <laughs> you may take a look at the letter and the Polaroid. As the game continues, you'll find more objects that are locked with the three-digit code. To open them, you'll figure out the matching code and enter it into the decoder disk. On the outer edge of the disk, there are five different symbols pictured. Each symbol stands for a code to be solved. It reminds me of the... Um, and a ghost will follow you home. Nobody, nobody knows what that's from. It's from it's from the the haunted mansion in Disneyland. But which symbol belongs to which code? You'll have to figure that out for yourself. So it's advisable to pay attention to every detail. Do you think you can crack a code? If so, enter the code under the corresponding symbol on the decoder disc. A number will then appear in the viewing window in the smallest wheel of the disc. So we did for the plus sign seven zero zero. zero yeah. Our our answer card that we look at is thirty. That's right. It'll indicate the answer card. If you're right, the answer card will let you continue. If you're wrong, I'll laugh at you, point at you, and make you do it again. Uh. Um, no example. We don't need that. Code is incorrect. Ignoring that. Possibly correct. Ignoring that. Where can you see the code? Um, good question. An uh, to an where can you see the code symbol? Good question. Answer. You have to take a closer look at the pictures and the polar, the riddles, blah, 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 blah. Find them. Is the code really correct? It'll tell you. Ignoring this. Is the code really incorrect? Ignoring this. Important. Whether right or wrong, return all the answer cards to the answer card pile. All codes will be solved logically, and you should try to use all possible combinations on the disk. Do you need some help? Of course, the game can provide you assistance when you get stuck. For each code, there's three help cards that can be recognized in the symbol on the back. Um, in addition, you're giving, giving clues. First clue also tells you what you need in order to be able to solve it. The second clue gives you somewhat more concrete assistance. And then, of course, the third one is the answer. If we're really dumb and unable to solve it, we can look at the third one, which is what I'm going to do most of the game, <laughs> I assure you. Almost done. Always take, the help, uh, always take the help cards for a specific riddle, a specific riddle in the letter, etc. These riddles are used identified with a symbol, just like the code decoder disk. It won't help you to, you to use help cards if you've not found a riddle with a corresponding symbol. So you have to find the symbols for us before you can even use the help cards, otherwise there's no use. So have a little patience. Additional playing materials. Ignoring it. When does the game end? The game ends when the last riddle is solved and hopefully when you rescued Ben. Will we? Probably not, but it's, <laughs> we can try. And then of course it tells us that we have down here at the bottom, it's gonna show a little wonderful, um, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it's, a, it's like a columns and rows of how long it's taking us to yeah. succeed. I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get right here. That's one star. No. That's my guess. And I'll, I'll even add a timer on YouTube um, when we start the game. It'll be a magic timer, so nobody on the live stream gets one. Sorry, you can time us if you want, I guess. The game begins. Unless, uh, note, unlike in the previous games, do not yet start the stopwatch. Just start playing the game. Oh, what are you waiting for? Okay. You have to save Ben before it's too late. Do not yet start the stopwatch. Just So it'll tell timer. us when to start the timer. Ah, you know how to open game. the letter and look at the Polaroid and start solving riddles. If anything's unclear, don't be shy about looking at something in the rule book during the game. So it's basically like exit with some unique little twists and turns. I like that. That's cool. Callie, you can be Ready? our new riddler. I'm going to disappear for a moment to make sure that everything's yeah. good. But yes, we are make going sure to be again playing the game. Paper, pencil, and a lighter. That's yep. that's yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna get a huge like blowtorch lighter. No, we work. have just one <laughs> right out there. Okay. You're no fun. I'm going to start with the oh, on, letter on. here, and we're going to need riddle card L, if you would be so kind. Okay, I'm going to read the letter. Goodbye. Paris, Monday, April 13th. My dear friends, I have finally found the entrance. After months of searching and countless expeditions, my flashlight showed me the way. I found the secret gate to the... Paris in Explore, the unexplored stone quarry in the catacombs of Paris, but something is not quite right here. This part of the catacombs seems a lot older than anyone ever guessed. This is evidenced by quite a few bone specimens, some of which I have now saved in my backpack. Tomorrow I will risk going deeper inside, but not without my compass, of course. This whole business gives me the creeps. 
I have a feeling like that I am not alone down here. If you don't hear from me by Wednesday, open my safe deposit box at the bank. You know which one it is. I have taken all necessary precautions. See you soon. And then we've got, so a couple things. There's flashlight, backpack, and compass are all bold. Then we have, it's signed to Ben, but there's some extra letters. With the B, there's an N. With the E, there's an L. With the N, there's a K. What does the riddle card say, Max? The riddle card says, here is a key to my safety deposit box. With an A over a D equals a makeshift letter six, but it looks like two tables put next to each other. Looks like uh, matchsticks, right? Either matchsticks or, honestly, paper? very blocky ends. Okay, okay. So we've got, and then, would you like to look at the Polaroid? Explain mm. what's there. Um, I would assume that this is a safe, and it's circled, mm -hmm. with the zero, zero, zero. And there's a square there, and there's a yeah. square oh, here. Yes. And okay. we do have a square on the... Yeah, so all of those are going to be using the square on the decoder. So we're looking for a three-digit code based on this. Um, and we also have an A and a D off of the tag on the... Key. Equals six. So if A and A D equals six, maybe B and B is right after A, maybe that's seven. Mm. If it's uh just you know a num uh numbers equal to So at that point it'd be sixteen. If you combine it. Oh no, you need three different numbers. Three yeah. single digit yeah. numbers. That How many add, add on the middle card looks similar to the double letters on the letter. Double. The AD. Yes. Yeah. On the riddle card. Uh huh. It's Looks comments. similar to what? It's in the comments. Look, Matt. Oh. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Similar to the letters on the letter. The double letters on the letter. Yeah, we mentioned. Oh, the that, right? bolded yeah. letters. No, the AD here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's why this yeah. is the clue to decipher these. Mm -hmm. So we need to solve, we're looking for what exactly right A now? A three-digit three code to the safety deposit box. Uh -huh. And we got Ben here, as well as B and N. AD is equal to six, right? Yeah. But what, so the D goes like like this, right? And then the C, the A looks like a C kind of. Does that matter? Maybe, because these could, the, the six, it doesn't look like a normal six. It looks like a matchstick type the of six. A, it looks kind of like that, and then D, Looks kind of like that. Does that matter? Uh, oh what? yeah, yeah. Does that matter? So that, that could be it. Um, when it comes to looking at the decoder, a, though, I'm not sure because it's just sets of numbers. Mm -hmm. So, what does it B, say on the card? Here is a key to my safety deposit box. Okay. Hmm. Now, initially, I was thinking a over D, D equals N. six, but mm -hmm. D is four in the alphabet, yeah. where A is one, yeah. one so that'd yeah. be a total of five. And K and N, what does that mean? Why is it? I think, so, um, if, I think you're onto something with the shapes, Michael. What is a next possible shape that might be in between these? Maybe B equals this shape. Uh, and then C could be the going down? Yeah. But there's so many letters. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like... Maybe there's only these three. And you cycle through them? Hmm. What else do we have to use? We have the compass, we yeah. have the Polaroid, and the letter, right? And that, the, the, and the letter gave us the riddle card L. Yeah, he, there's also three words bolded in Can the I letter. Can I see that decoder? Yeah. Flashlight, what about putting backpack, backpack, and, and compass. compass. Hmm. Flashlight. Mm. Is, is that three words in, uh, work in tandem with these three? Because this is a key. Combinations. Have the key. Mm. 
What do the letters mean then, though? A. Naomi is saying, yeah, hmm, why are B and E both on top while N yeah. and the other have bottom, a K on top? What's the reasoning there? Yeah, yeah it has to do with how you create the number, I think, mm -hmm. with the shape. I think somehow it's there. It's like a fraction. That's kind of what somehow I was initially I'm thinking. Somehow thinking maybe 1 over 6 and A is 1 and D is 6. Um, and somehow... So, what are the different ones you could create with these types of shapes? You can create two. You can create all, almost all the numbers, right? Um, okay, to be able to solve the riddle, you need to have found the riddle card L in Ben's notebook. Take a look at the letter. Yeah, You'll see the image. That. Yeah, this is... His sign, ben signed his letter in an awfully odd way, don't you think? With the B above an N and the E above an L and the K above the N. That's blah, 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 blah. Okay, riddle card L tells you that... An A above a D yields six. Don't you think it's interesting that the six is made of green lines? Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Look at the grid on the back of yeah. <laughs> You didn't look at the whole thing? Oh my god. <laughs> you break my heart. Oh no. That makes more sense. Yeah, okay. Lot so this is now. A. And then also. And this is D. Okay. Yeah. A lot easier. <laughs> B and N. B. Michael's got it. N. <laughs> and then E and L. And then N and K. K, K and N. Nine nine three. Nine nine three. You didn't even. Gives us. Sorry. This isn't my fault. <laughs> We're making it more challenging yeah, than yeah. it was. I thought we actually were pretty smart about that. Yeah. Uh, the code may be right. Where you can find the code? Where can you see the symbol on the code? Uh, it's gonna. What are we looking we're at? Looking oh, it's square. this lock. It's we're looking at yeah, the lock. Yeah. All right, so it's yeah. twenty-five. Twenty-five says the safe deposit box springs open. Yay! Inside, Ben left a few things for you, along with the coordinates for a secret entrance into the catacombs. What are you waiting for? The next place to Paris is about to take off. You find riddle cards A, M, Q, and T. A, M, Q, T. Along with a poster. Uh, the poster looks like it has a this thing. Strop. Like the PewDiePie stump. Um, take these riddle cards from the stack and look at them. Take the poster. When you're done, place this card back into the stack of answers. The stack of answers. Okay, so what do we got here? Now we got this thingy. We got these thingies. We probably don't need this for now. We set this aside. We still will need our anti decoder ring. And we probably will need this later too. Because it's got all these like, codes yeah, and stuff. With this, maybe. Yeah, we yeah, might so need We'll later. save it for later. Well, we, this is stuff we can still look at if we need to throughout the game, though. This <laughs> stuff hasn't been like opened up yet, so we don't. That's hidden. Yeah, this is like not usable yet. We'll okay. find it later. Am I ready? ready? I'm ready. A. M. A. Q. T. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's look at the C. The C has got our, our this is our six-sided shape for hexagon, what we yeah. need to solve. And it's got a C and a bunch of words in there. This one here says, Dear friends, if you're reading these words, something has gone wrong. It means I have not managed to get out of the catacombs under my own power. I am including everything that you will need to, to free me from this horrible labyrinth. Make haste, but keep your wits about you. Very unnatural things are at play down here. I am definitely not alone. Uh... Is there something in the box that's alive? <laughs> I have become convinced that there is some dark power that has claimed dominion over the subterranean cemetery, and that draws everyone and everything under its spell. Who dares to disturb the peace of the dead? So do not delay. Place everything on red and save me. Place everything on red, underlined, and save me. So this is red. Place everything on it and save me. Okay. And then we have red dot airlines, which also has a little red dot on there. Everything on red. This is with a plus. And then there's... This one, sideways triangle, which is a sideways triangle. This is connection a is diamond, established. Yeah. Diamond, sorry. Yeah. Sideways triangle. <laughs> sideways triangle. No. Triangle's it's not even triangle. If you would have said a sideways double triangle, I would have been more for it. Yeah. Okay, so we have all these things, and we also have this. It says stop. Do not open this post unless you have solved the plus riddle. Okay, so we need to solve oh. the plus riddle first, which is this one right here. Uh, Possibly. It says. It says we don't know which one we have to solve first. Well, we just can't open up more information yeah. until we have solved the plus riddle. So it's probably, so yeah, it's probably a good one. Solving the plus riddle will give us more information. Okay, so it just says, 
you can't see the flight number, the gate time, or, date, or uh, you know, gate number, date time, or flight number. Enjoy your flight with Red Dot Airlines. And there's a ticket, and it has a little dot that is red in between, the, for the O for dot. Place everything on red. Uh, and these feel like they're for a different... There's things. red on here, too. Yeah, we have other things we can utilize. We don't need this key as likely, but we might need these. Because we didn't use oh, what about these. C? No, yeah. There's nothing. Is there a red C on the other one? Oh, that's a green C. This one's a well, blue C. Red I if there's some K. kind of pattern. Hmm. If I remember correctly with these games, it says it's definitely not this lord. It's probably something to remember later. <laughs> <laughs> All the does this open up more? Yeah. It does. There's a little. Discover these possible site for final ritual. Probably something later. Okay, so we have a K, a C, and a B. And a, a red dot arrow. These are all red too. And then technically with the dot we have oh. Oh possibly. so place it could be literal. Maybe the these are a bunch of words here. Now does it read across is the question. Mm, not really, they're just C. random words. Accursed blockages, fickle hiccups. What if we put it this way? Maybe the dot says something? I don't know. No. <laughs> hmm. I feel like we have to place something on some on something. We right. have two red letters. I feel and this is red dot airlines putting it. That's a C that's red. B, C, K. What's this? Can I take over Place, this card? Yeah, yeah, take whatever, whatever mm -hmm. you want. Place everything on red. Any comments? Any questions? Nope, not yet. Okay. I'm just... Help us, Everybody please. is pondering. <laughs> we might need a clue. We need to solve the plus riddle. Yeah. Is there uh, a dot on the letter? One? On the front side of the letter? Because on this image, there's a dot on this letter, and then on the triangle, too. I wonder if there's... Something. Oh, I think it might be saying try yeah. to use, you need to use the letter for it. Yeah, here. And then a shape. There's no dot on there, right? No, but... Um, but saying that... This is the oh, same the as this, though. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. So we also there are words bolded here yeah. that didn't we didn't use for anything. Mm -hmm. Flashlight, compass, and backpack. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Place. <laughs> Are there hmm. any symbols in the letter that would match with this? No, there's no symbols inside the letter. Mm -mm. All right. To be able to solve this riddle, you have to have found riddles M and Q. Yes. Which is these are the two because these ones are for other riddles. That's what I was pretty sure mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it has a plus on it, and if it yeah. has something, because this is something previous information. If you don't have that, you have to solve something else. You also need the coder disk. In Ben's message on card M, an important phrase is underlined, and the name of the airline on card Q is a bit unusual, don't you think? That must be relevant somehow. Uh, I figured that far. <laughs> and, the, and the name of the airline on card Q is unusual. Place everything on red. Red dot. D O T. Yeah, so we know. We the, wouldn't use the same. This no. 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 Or no can D we spell oh. red? Actually, yeah. Can we spell red and then get the decoder? Ah! <laughs> we always forget to look at everything. Okay, there is a red dot here. And maybe there's one on the other. No, that one's good. So there's literally a red dot on the... And people see that too? Show people? Yeah. There's a little red dot okay. there in Africa, it looks um, like. None of these other ones are doing anything, though. Okay. Is everything else on this side red? No. Oh, so that one... But no other red on any I don't see any other red. I'm moving both of them. Place everything on red. 
Okay. Yeah. So we, okay, we got that. So okay. if, if you um, move it at all. Do you so. want to try? No, I don't know. I'm not smart at this kind of stuff. Oh, there's there's one over here too. Yeah, I, I didn't see any, I, I didn't see anything there, but you can look. Push, I mean, push, maybe push. if I move this one too. Oh. There. Then. Aha. Oh, oh so oh, there, there is go. one on every yeah. single one you have to find. Just, you have to. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Okay. Turn around. And Thirty-seven. Uh, yeah. Eight, yeah, four, four. Thirty-seven is what we need. And show them, explain to them what, that, what okay. we just did. So, I uh, rotated till we could get a red dot in each of these. And this one was confusing because it could go either one. And what are, what's the one we're looking for here? It's the stop one, right? Or is it not? Ye yes. It is? Yep, because that's what we need. We need to solve the plus to find to open that. The entrance to the catacombs is opened. You entered a wide room which Ben apparently uses as a base camp for his expedition. His things are lying all over the place. It dawns on you how serious the situation is. There's no time to waste. Start the timer now. Time is running out. Find the riddle cards K, P, and U. So, YouTube, timer go! We hadn't even done these ones yet either. <laughs> Find the riddle cards K, P, and U. Okay. Take the riddle cards from the stack and look at them. Open the poster. And uh, for the to, to be fair, for the audience, in case you, you saw me peek at the second clue here, all I did was look at the uh, the picture on the card and just said back of key or something like that. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just look at this. So I didn't actually know how to solve that. These ones are solved, but we still have these ones. And look, we got another letter. <laughs> okay. Not that it would be any surprise that people didn't realize I didn't know how to solve it since I wasn't even... <laughs> All right, you're up. You're okay. on the spot now. Okay, yeah, read <laughs> what's on here. Okay. And then I'll be Max up next, too. Okay. So Callie and you can work together. Okay. Says, my friends, I have another important piece of information for you. The entrance of the catacombs may be out of order, but this sign isn't. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like it has... There's oh. another code for us to stop to solve with mm -hmm. three question marks and then one, two, three, four letters in red. Huh. And we have a C and a T. And there's a C and a T in red. Okay, so got C yeah. and T. Okay. Are gonna go something with this. Maybe they'll so, go together. But we well, need we probably need an H and an R. Yeah. So what about this one? What okay. does it say? Let there be light from large to small. Okay. And then each one one is one X, and three we know plus, this, and two plus. The connection is established. Connection is yeah. Established. Okay. That one we, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. This is the moon one. Mm -hmm. So there are torches here. Yeah, I've only seen one lit torch. From um, large to small. But they have numbers next to them. Yeah, are there... Do they One, look different? One, two... Okay. Five, five three, three, four. four. No, another four. Oh, there's two fours there? Yeah. One of the fours is red, it looks like. Huh? It looks like this four is red. Oh. No, that many... may just be the trick of the light. Yeah, but... I think it's just the... Oh, and we have symbols that are here. They're oh. down there. Oh, and okay. then the triangle, too. Oh, the and this... Triangle. We have the face on the back of yeah. the letter saying it's probably not this guy. And we have letters, again, that are mm -hmm. different colors. So this letters triangle is matching with that one. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that might go with that. Yeah. This goes with the torches. Um, They'd be like from large to small. Hmm. These... Has it's red letters. Yeah. yeah. I feel like this one is on its one on its own with three. Hmm. From large to small. They're all different too. So this is the large one. Oh, do we have to cut this? It's got a um, outline. Does it? Yeah. It's got oh, it a does. white outline. Yeah. All right, scissors. <laughs> One more thing we need. I 
I forgot about scissors. <laughs> That's interesting that you actually cut a card out. You do? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this, th these are one-time play. We had to do that before in these types of games. I was not <laughs> expecting that, in uh -huh. all honesty. This is, you play this game one time. So once you play it, but there's tons of these games. This is one of very many yeah, yeah. exit titles. I would hate to cut And it's cards. a good, well, it's a good amount of value for what you get in the game too. Yeah, okay, so maybe we can look at this while Michael's doing that. What symbols are down there? From what I'm seeing, we literally have just about every single one of these symbols. Well, this looks like a number pad too, right? Like on it a It does phone. look like a keypad, yeah. So we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Star, and then... zero, and pound. Okay. So if we looked at... So the f oh, that's too if many. If we're going left or yeah, right. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Connection is established. We I'm need seeing... something on the letter. Yeah. What? <laughs> Were the symbols there at all? The dexterity of yeah, cutting. they don't have to be exact. <laughs> well, if you're well, unless raising you're matching them, it. yeah, we need to look for the number Two. next to it. Yeah. Um, uh oh. Where's the other one? So when it says large to small, I'm guessing that this is the large one here. Yeah, times. Mm -hmm. Or, like? oh, three plus. Mm. No, it's gonna, it's gonna create some sort of like three plus five, right? It has a moon too, which just means that's the, to solve for moon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one times one is what you're saying? I don't know. Two plus. Three plus five. Okay, this is the smallest, so it's got to go on this side. One times four. Maybe like that. What does it say? So four, one times four, four, six, and three plus three is six. Four, six, six? And I it's mean, the moon? Yeah, yeah it could be. Try putting on the decoder. I mean, we're not sure. <laughs> I mean, seems good. It's at least a start. Uh, number three. Uh, really, I think not. Unfortunately, nope. it's not the correct code. Okay. So what information we have, what's this say? The entrance to the cabins may be out of order, but this sign isn't. C-H-R-T. So we have the... We have C and so, T. Okay, so this is, for, this is for this code then. Mm -hmm. And we don't need this one right now. Well, we think we just have too much information it's not a three-digit code what was the information we got to use the from lowest to highest or highest to lowest it was on, on the card, card. Yeah. thought there'd be light from large to small oh large to other way uh swap one and two no oh yeah so seven Six, three, moon, mm -hmm. seven, and a six, and a three? Yep. 34. <laughs> 34, a diligent piece of work in vain, alas. Unfor unfortunately, yeah. this yeah, code fail. is not correct. Yeah. Let there be light is what it's saying, though, too. Yeah, so this has light there. I mean, oh. Also, realize that these are lower. Oh, wait, like what lowest. About the flashlight? I don't know. Do is that like a starting point? Oh, flash, flashlight? Yeah. Backpack compass? 
There we go. <gasps> backpack and compass. Mm. But there no okay, are there, there any um, torches near there? No. no. That's something for later, though, I think. Yeah. yeah. But this is, it's saying from, you have to be light from large to small. And remember, too, this is, if you look at the, if you don't look at the, uh, these, look, these, this is, this is the lowest area, right? Mm -hmm. This is the lowest one. And this is the highest one. Do you see? If you put yeah, a, you did the a location, line there. Yeah. It's yeah. not tallest, it's shortest, though. No. But why is that a thing? Yeah, right? they're out of order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's it well, going, Jason? We got to use this one. Yeah, that one would be the lowest, though, right? No, it's, that's the lowest. Oh, wait. But, I mean, okay. it's... So, let me see this thing. So, that'd be... So, I thought eight, maybe this... Four, way. two. On moon. Why, why two? Huh? One plus one. One, one times, times one. One. Or one times one. One. Eight, four, one. Because it's... This is the one that gauge brightest to... That'll leave. Large well, that small. also puts us at 34. Oh, no. Nope. Which okay. we just did. No. Um, Pitiful. Largest to smallest. Let there be light. So Let there be light so from large to highest. small. Maybe this we need to make point? a higher number, high numbers with these. Eight. And then this one, the next one. Six. And then four would be the next highest numbers we could make. Eight, six, four? Uh-huh. Moon, eight, six. Nope. Eight, six, four <laughs> is literally a circle. Uh -huh. <laughs> what about the same order that we had, um, but putting the numbers from highest to lowest mm -hmm. for the decoder. Oh, yeah. The same placement, but, yeah. but, mm -hmm. uh, but whatever rearranging the yeah. numbers. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Like that? that so, it's yeah. still the same, I think. Yeah, still the same. What numbers did we get? 841. Uh-huh. Oh, that is yeah, the yeah, largest to smallest. Is, yeah. yeah. What's the whole... So let there be light, though, is mm -hmm. one of the important things. And it's a moon, and these have the moon symbol. From large to small. Well, let's go ahead and take a, a quick a quick Ooh, helping hand, I moon. imagine. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, to be able to solve, you need this and this. You don't have everything. If, if you don't have everything, yeah, do you see the dashed lines around the torches? You need scissors. We got that. <laughs> On the poster, you'll, poster you'll see a torch mm -hmm. um, in, in its holder. In the spot where the tip of the flame touches the ceiling of the cave, you can see a coal black spot. Oh, we had to get them to oh, hit Oh, align them? Wait. Yeah. So put one right here. No, it's going to be And place other torches in their holders beneath the appropriate soot spots. This one right here. Two. That's going to be three, I think. See, it doesn't hit it. Yep. There we go. So three, seven, five. But do we need to do it largest to smallest? Oh. Three, seven, well, we so can try seven, it. Seven, five, five, three. three. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go seven, five, 43. Okay, and we need, we're looking at the... Torch it. Oh, we're trying to get through this gate, I guess. So four? No. no. Is that is not is not the gate, is it? Uh I think that's the next Yeah. What else would it be? Hmm. Is that what we're looking to do? That's what it looks like. This yeah, or one of these boxes the... that mm -hmm. are locked. Oh that one. There. This yeah. One? Ten. We unlocked the coffin box thing. I hope we yeah. did this right. Look, it matches it exactly. Does the coffin box have a... Oh, oh it, has, it, it does, does have, have a moon. A moon. Okay, oh. okay, okay. I'm like, we need to have, there has to be a symbol. So that's how we knew what we needed to do yeah, next. Yeah, okay. So that's make, what makes this more challenging too. We have to find the symbols on everything we want to do. Oh, here's the diamond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
uh, with a queasy feeling, you slide off of the unlocked uh, coffin lid. Fortunately it's, almo fortunately, it's almost empty. You let out a sigh of relief as you wonder at Ben's way of hiding notes. He either sensed he was being observed or wasn't quite himself any anymore. You find the riddle cards D, E, and S. Take these riddle cards and look at them. D, E, S. We got another one of the Another letter. Letters. Okay, that's good. Oh, and that's yeah. And I remember we need goes along with three of four of them, I think, yes, right? Yes, four. And we have three. Yeah. So what are our new ones? Uh, we have each now. Rest. And then we got handprint blank, handprint. And there's a skull and a pentagram. pentagram. There's a pentagram. All right. There. We know our narrator. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> the puzzle can only be solved by finding the symbol involved. Place the teardrop-like dental floss between the crescent and the cross. Only thus can the code find its place and allow you out of the cave to escape. So can we saw the thing, the symbol involved. Teardrop. Either I'm thinking this or that. Mm-hmm. Those are the symbols that we've been seeing. Place a teardrop like dental floss. Do we have anything? It's a teardrop. Or, or we'll still Well, there's a teardrop on here. Between the crescent and the cross. We haven't gotten that yet. Mm. Only this can the code find its place and allow you. I, I don't know. Let's see. I don't need you anymore, at least. Hmm. Maybe. Alright. You want some of this? Mm, well, yeah, we got this symbol on there. Definitely not this. It's not this guy, mm -hmm. and not it's not that guy either. It's something for later. Okay. Mm. Okay, these actually were pretty. I think we're pretty good with these two. Where is the crescent and the cross? So we need to place something between the the crescent and the cross. This is a crescent moon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We don't have. We already did the cross puzzle with the air ticket. Ah, uh, yeah, but there might yeah, be a cross the, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, inside. I know. It could be a the puzzle can be solved by finding the symbol involved. We need to figure out what the symbol is that we're solving. Mm -hmm. Place the tear dot drop, <laughs> like dental floss. Place the teardrop, which is this. Mm -hmm. These aren't. There's nothing. The candles. Teardrop upside down. Between the crescent and the cross. Only thus can find the code thus can the code find its place and allow you out of the cave to escape. Now the only cross mm. I'm seeing the face is crossed out. Mm. And putting something between the cross and the teardrop would be this box here. Does the box have a symbol on it? The box does not have a symbol from what I can tell, but there's a compass and a scroll of paper. Hmm. So that is the only cross I can actually see. If we wanted to place the teardrop, like dental floss, between the crescent, we'd have to like kind of fold it, right? The cross is the, a plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because uh, we probably even might need a piece of paper. Place a teardrop, like. Uh, mm -hmm. Do we have anything else? Oh wait, no. Where's and this the one doesn't person? have a. This and doesn't have a symbol on it. Nope. No. That's what's that's weird. But you have to find that's the symbol. Doesn't. That's what it's asking you to uh, do. Okay. What does that say? Anybody in the audience? Hexed. Okay. Have well, any I'm ideas? guessing it's something like this. Mm -hmm. And you place the tear, so it says, um, place the teardrop like dental floss between the crescent and the cross. Well, here's the crescent, right? And I was thinking maybe there's a cross somewhere on here and you would put it What's this place the teardrop though? That's what I don't understand. It's, yeah. it's not this. It's, it's something like this. Mm -hmm. There has to be a. Once we fold it, 
Yeah, like how you were saying. Is there a teardrop on the back here? Okay. What if we fold? Hexagon. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if we end up folding the teardrop at some, like, dental floss, wherever it is, so. I know, okay, this. Somehow. Fold it up, though, yeah. No, no, that's what we can do. We I can know, do, we I can know. Do this. Mm. Place the teardrop, like, dental floss between the crescent. Oh, that's the but symbol. That's we gotta we find, find the symbol. It. Yeah, that's there the symbol. There we go. Teardrop. That one's gonna be the hex. Crescent. Crescent. And the cross. Where's the cross though? Where's the plus mm -hmm. symbol? Mm -hmm. well, that's what I was saying is I think the only plus symbol is this crossed out photo because I'm not seeing anything else. No, because it's asking us to, to do this. I think. It's asking us to flip this right here and then it points. I'm thinking it's yeah. this. I'm almost yeah. positive in fact it's this. I just don't know where the, the cross should be somewhere on this paper. Hmm. But even still, so finding this though, I find this. This we know that this is the symbol for this. This is the symbol that for this clue. Only thus can the code find its place and allow you out of the cave to escape. So to open this one, it's the hex symbol is what we're thinking. We still have this clue too. Hand blank hand blood blank blood. And this is this, and hmm. Wow, that skull is really large. <laughs> yeah. To be able to solve this, we're going to have to A, and B, E, K, and P. Do we have the e, A, B, E, K, and P? A. No, we don't have B. No, B. Okay. Okay, we got to solve maybe the, the triangle one first, next, then. I mean, sorry. I keep calling, now I want to call it yeah. triangles. Diamond. There's a lot of these helper cards. Yeah, there's a lot of puzzles. The diamond, we know this goes with this. We think that these are number pad, but there's a lot um, of numbers. You do have found riddle card T. You also have to found Ben's letter and, and open the poster. Yes. We have In Ben's letter, there are three words that are emphasized. Ah, okay. This one we use the three: the flashlight, backpack, and compass. That's where we're using the three words. Is that all it said? And uh, and uh, yeah. it's not these three things we Isn't found in the cave and the eye on the cell phone screen on chart T. You already noticed that it's on the poster too, right? Mm-hmm. We need oh, a connection maybe. between these three things. Okay, what if it's, where is it, the third thing? The backpack? Okay, backpack. so what about this being, like, telling us which symbol to use? Oh, yeah, and then Michael using can that. use his mine. There we go, and then using so the flashlight first. Oh. Like, like on the flashlight itself? Or? Yeah, what symbol is underneath there? Well, this one? Yeah. That's a zero. zero. Okay. Flashlight. And then backpack is next. I hope this is... Yeah, like right from the point. Is it... The square? Uh, I think you have to do it from the point like you did the other. Uh, that would be... I just put it on the eye like last yeah, time. Yeah, that would be okay. eight. Oh, okay. And then the last one is what? The, the compass. Compass. It's right, right above the face. Okay, what symbol? Up plus uh, this one? This yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that is a four. Four. Zero, eight, I four. I hope that's done right. That gives us a total revealing number of 32. Mm. 
Maybe. Okay, and then what are we looking for here? The diamond. Or sorry, yeah, diamond. No, no, diamond's not gonna help us. We need to hide. Diamond on the box. The box. Little with a little lock. Oh yeah, that's right. It's blue with a red blood. This one. Okay, forty-four. Maybe. The metal box opens with yeah. a groan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ha ha! Dental floss for the win. I knew this would come in handy. Hmm, you're hoping for a little more inside, not just a pair of odd messages. You find riddle cards B and G. Oh, we needed this one for yeah, the other one. Yeah, there we go. go. Take these riddle cards from the stack and look at them. B and G. When you're done, place this card right back in the stack of answers. We got a teardrop. And we got an R, which will go with this one. Okay. Okay, so we're done with this one. Okay. Likely. Unlikely, yeah. We'll set these Likely aside. Likely done. And this game, I've always learned to like, there's always... Just keep it, but just, keep just it to around. the side. You'd be surprised. Because <laughs> we, we still, even this one, we have the little... Let, yeah, and we got another set here now. Uh-huh. And there's actually another set on the back, oh, of, the back of this one. Yeah, that one. So somehow, there's a, on the back somehow, of this one, too. Yeah. So we just keep them around. Uh-huh. And we know it's not these two people. For whatever that might be in, in It some could point. be, yeah, uh, in the future. Okay, so we well. have the teardrop now, right? Yes. So it says, place the teardrop like dental floss between the crescent and the cross. And we still don't know where the cross... Well, like dental floss, so upside. Like this, somehow. I don't know. Dental floss between the teeth and... <laughs> uh... I still think it's this. It's What's yeah. I mean, remove M. I don't know if that. Remove M. Chagall's black. Hmm. Oh, what, we have enough, maybe, to go off of this one. Do we have all four? We yeah, do. Yeah, we have maybe all do. four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Put them in order, maybe. I have another important piece of information. The entrance so is mostly maybe out of order, but the sign isn't. So C H R. Last. Crit. <laughs> Short. And then. And there's three the letters that go in between this, this, and this. All right. Mm -hmm. What are the extra letters on those? Oh, they just have question marks. It's three question marks. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be in between the letters. In between the cards. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hmm. The entrance to the catacombs may be out of order, but this sign isn't. The entrance is out of order, but the sign isn't. And the sign obviously says that those four go in that order. But having those four means nothing if I already knew that that was the order. Yeah. So it's got to be something more than um, that. What about the chart that we have with the letters? This thing here? Yeah, no. no. Oh, you mean this one? No. Well, we've got multiple. Well, yeah. we have we have three of them, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. B, K, and what's the other oh, one? Oh, do any of them have these? B, K, D. Order? That doesn't work, C, I don't think. C, H, R, T. Mm -mm. Oh, it's just that one has C H, maybe the number between C and H. No, that's seven and zero. Hmm. And we we may do we yeah. even have everything we need for this too? So this, this is, is a another, hex. A B E K and P. A B E K, K and, and P. P. Yeah. If you don't have everything yet, you'll okay. Yeah. So it says, have you noticed there is no object with the six? Sided hexagon symbol. The back of the poster should be able to help you there. Yeah, that's that's this. Yeah, we know what object it is now. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and what's up with the street sign? The red letters in the street name are also written on the cards. Do you think perhaps each letter might contain a word that seems to be out, meet be the odd one out? Oh, okay. Take a look. Mm. Do they say so? They say stuff on them. So they have a lot, a, a lot of bl words that start with A, B, C. Huh? Wait, what did it say? The clue? Oh, uh, word words that's out of place. Yeah, look for an out okay. of place word. This one says abnormal. 
Sounds and what's up with the street the sign? The red letters in the street name are also written on the cards. Yeah, the red funny. letters in the street name mm -hmm. are also written on the cards. Do you think perhaps each letter might contain a word that seems to be the odd one out? What's the di Of all the C's, what's the mm -hmm. odd word out? Of all the R words here, what's the weird one? That's what it's probably asking. Cave, cackle, clown, clock, cherry, cousin, column, camo, cyborg. It's a weird one. What is an odd There's word? There's no H words. Oh, heights. What does an odd word out give you? What's the point of that? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Is there these words on there? No. Yeah. The illustration. Yeah. The illustration of the intersections on card K must have great significance with regard to the solution, and it can't be a coincidence that four items are needed and four letters are emphasized. It's also interesting that all the words contain in, in, uh, contained in letter C also contain a C. Wait a minute, all of them? Oh, okay. We're looking for a mm. word that doesn't contain the letter, not just start with it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dense. I see. Okay. C is dense. Okay. Okay. So then keeping them in order. Yeah, H -R -T. eight. D E N S E. Look for eight. Kelly, what? D E N what? S E, yeah. Okay, look for. Yeah, find, a, find, find the word in the card that doesn't have the letter in it. We were kind of right. Okay. H. Wondrous. How do you spell it? O N E. R O U S O N E R O U S Onerous. Onerous. <laughs> onerous. It's like a walrus, but only one. Onerous. Venison. V E N I S O N. Uh huh. And R? Inept. Spell it. I N E P T. I N E P T. Okay, okay, what is that? So that gives so us. So we're gonna look for something in between those words, or overlapping those words. So do those do them? overlap. Yeah, maybe write them. They had it all in a row here. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I mean like in a, in one line, all together like this. What's the oh and the it's and we're looking for something in between them. D E N S E H next, right? Mm -hmm. V E N S I O N R is inept. I N E P T. Seven. Yeah. And then T mm -hmm. O N E R O U S. And then we can look. Seven. Seven. Nine. Nine. One. one. Oh, and look, I'll show you guys go. at home. So yeah, we had to, wow, <laughs> that is so complex. So we okay, put so all the words together. So that's like what it tells you here. to do. And this is to find <laughs> the numbers wow. in there. That was with a clue, too. Now, uh, that's an insane Seven, puzzle. nine, one. <laughs> Which leaves us with 17. 17. And we know it's the red casket now. Um, <laughs> so it's 42. Sounds like one I've done before, but maybe I did 43. No, you did 43. Oh, okay. With a soft click, the lid of the box swings open. Yay! Inside, there's a small picture, apparently uh, by Mark um, Choggle. Mark Choggle. This is what we found. Isn't that nice? Mm. Thank ah. you, Mark. Oh. Ben's favorite artist. Do you remember that Ben reported about a secret brotherhood in which Choggle was supposed to have gotten tangled up in somehow? You find the riddle cards J and Z. Yep. We probably don't need these now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, oh, there we go. Along with, the, along with Chagall's picture frame, uh, which is this, and then uh, take the riddle cards from the stack and look at them, and to take the picture frame. When you're done, place the card back. Okay, that's one we got to cut. <sighs> All right. I can Here, you, you're better at the riddle solving. I'm, <laughs> I can do the cutting. <laughs> All right, have our narrator read that one. Okay, follow the colored path, like hounds on a fox, to find the key that opens a box. Another box. And it's, this is the symbol. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's the symbol we're looking for. I don't even see that one on the map. 
Well, to open this box, right? Oh, you know what? This could be crossing out somehow. Mm-hmm. Oh. Find the key that opens yeah, the key. there's a bunch of... See, there's already one crossed out. Yeah. Remove M. Chagall's black. There's oh, maybe all of the black. Out. Take off all of the black. Yeah. There's so many, On though. the crossword, and maybe uh, we'll be left with letters, is my guess. So that's scary <laughs> to write it out. I guess um, we gotta do that. All the black? I know. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do it. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. no, you got it. You got yeah, it. You, you, it. It was your idea. You yeah. came up with it. You're gonna mess okay. the game up. Go. Oh, no. No, I mean, like, you know, draw and do it. It's fine. Okay. So, yeah, cross out black. Uh, yeah, there are letters that doesn't... And tell me what the letters are, that remain are, and I'll write those down. So hand me the other pen up there, if you will. Oh, here's one. Oh, thank you, I got it. Okay. okay. What are the letters as you, um, that are left? T. Okay, there's T. Uh, B, L. No, I think that's oh, wait, still part of black. Oh, wait, it continues. It continues. Yeah. Okay. A. Um, Keep going. Yeah. Ho, oh, ho. K. We're on a mission now. T, A, K. Yeah, T, A, mm -hmm. K. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There's a B. No. No, no. It's a. Yeah, this is what I was saying. E? To use the other pen. It would be very more a lot more to find. Take. Uh, another E. E. V. V. I'm guessing the E. Another E is next. Yes, Naomi. It is. We might have to use this. E. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of these are actually really interesting. And I'm going to guess this is an R. R, or y. yeah, R. You know why? I see it already. Yeah, Y. Take <laughs> every. Oh, we're moving along. T. A T. What's Take the, uh, every. Game where you have to start guessing all the letters. H. I don't know. I. Thing. N. And I'm looking for a G next. Yep, G. Mm -hmm. Take everything. <laughs> L. Okay. Uh, e. I. Not enough. T. Another T probably. Yeah, it's probably gonna be light. Little. Oh wait, no, I, wait, take everything. Oh, e. Okay, like, I like the E, yep. R. Literally. <laughs> oh, okay. Looks like we're still going here. A. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. L. Uh huh. Uh. How's it going, Alex? Thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> we also had Pedro from, Pedro from Portugal as well. I didn't get to say hello because I was busy running out there. Why? Uh -huh. Is that everything? Almost. Uh, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take everything literally. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is that what it's? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Out, wow. Take everything literally. Okay. okay. Follow the colored path. And we like, are in this, so we have oh. this, this. We have we this. We also have one here uh -huh. and one on the back of the poster. Okay, maybe we can line them up. That's the yeah. idea. Yeah, I'm about to say, let's line up the blue ones if possible. Yeah, with this. Blue. Oh, oh this is the blue, the blue line. line. Yeah, the colored path is blue. What are you doing? flips over and there's yeah. one in this bottom corner. One over here too. Yeah, there is. Oh, wow. Right there. Maybe like fold it or something? Yep. But there's no... There's no blue there. Oh, mm. there's a blue eight. There's a blue eight. It's just not the same blue. No. no. Not. Nope. No. We don't need that one. So two R and C. Oh, we got more. D and A. Those are all of them, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dante, no. <laughs> Say? The okay. colored. Wait, let me see. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Follow the colored path. 
So if we're following the colored path, I don't know why no, no. there'd be two. Yeah, maybe we don't need that one, but. Oh, making it a line. That's, yeah. Yeah, but was... we don't know what order they go in. Probably this one starts it because it's got the symbol. Most And likely. that happened before. The D goes with the D. Because yeah. that allows us to do the. Are there line. any letters that line up? I mean, numbers. Because we need numbers for the hourglass. Uh, it's fine. I thought we've already opened all the boxes too. Oh. Where, which one is the hourglass one here? Is there? There is none. That's the weird part too. Oh. There's this. Yeah. It doesn't have its own. Yeah. Yeah. And if you go directly mm, goes, across, oh, there's wait. not more than two numbers that actually match up. Well, these could be in different orders. Are there any other colors that kind of match around the blue? Is there an M chick all anywhere else? Because that's a different symbol. Maybe we're still we still need to solve for this one. Oh, the, the teardrop? yeah, that yeah. the teardrop is the door. So then maybe the take everything literal is not for the blue, something else. So it said take everything literal, align the teardrop. But no, we already before. we already did yeah. that for this. Um. Hmm. Take everything literally. Yeah, what are we opening with the hourglass? Is the question. We don't know. Use a hand if you need one. Yeah. Okay. Hourglass or teardrop? Teardrop, right? Yeah. If we're following this one, just take uh -huh. everything literal. Okay. We have riddle card G, and we have an S. Where's riddle card S? I have real card S right here. Okay. And Chagall's picture frame. All right. Funny how the teardrop symbol you're looking for is not even on the decoder disc. Maybe card S oh. can help you here. And card G might tell you what it is that you have to do with Chagall's picture frame. Okay. We did that. Yeah. Yeah. And then card S. It's going to tell us that, yeah, we know it's the hexagon. What? Oh, wait, we got that with this. Yeah. Okay, we're on, we are on this one. Um, okay. yeah. yeah. We just don't know where this symbol is on here, I think is the problem. Yeah, so take the first one. Uh, we need riddle cards J and Z, yes. Uh, we have to find the Polaroid photo, bend letter, lock box, and open the poster. Notice the colored strips of letters and numbers cropping up all over the place. One color in particular seems to have special importance, doesn't it? Yeah, it's right now. Which is yeah. this one. We got that, so yeah. move on to the next one then, since we've already gotten that. Uh, should follow the light blue diagonal path. So maybe it's about time you created a little light blue diagonal line. Oh, we're not supposed to stagger them. We use those to create the line. I think is what it's saying. So this one is. This one's first. The letter. Yep. And then this one is here. And that one is there. Oops, sorry. And it's card two. Oh. Where's my big stack of cards? I'm guessing it's answer card two. Yeah. Okay. Mm. New. Okay, but it is card two. Card two. Follow the colored path like hounds on a like hounds on a fox to find the key that opens the box. To find
find the key that opens the box. And we have card, card two. Here. The second card we ever had was a key. Yeah. No, this is for the safe deposit box. Is there any other thing that gets highlighted? Any numbers or let? We found this, that's right. Mm -hmm. We know it's card two. What, what's, what, what card, card is, choose? what's the second yeah. card? Second card we ever used? Not the answer card, too. No, like that. Yeah, these go together. We take everything literally. literally. Every <laughs> we got it. Card two. I don't know. Want me to read the next yeah, one? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. We okay. only have a certain amount of the stream is over, so try and at least get past uh, part one if we yeah. can. Oh, there's another strip. Card 23. Oh, we're missing one. Uh, it's not the one here. No, there's no three there. Uh, the Polaroid? Okay. Yeah, oh, we already have the Polaroid. What was the, what was it say we, we needed? Four. Um, Polaroid photo, bent letter, lockbox, open the poster, J and Z. Z. Z was the one we cut up. Was there anything on part of it? Polaroid photo, right? Uh-huh. Bend ben, letter. This is Ben's letter, right? No, no Ben's this letter. Is, so letter, photo, Z. And the poster. And then what's the other one? It's nothing. Is there, isn't there? J and over, Z. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. There must be another one. Does Polaroid have anything else? No. There's, there's no nothing on this. Yeah. yeah, there's no light blue one. What about the comp? No, the comp doesn't have anything there. Okay. This one may not. <laughs> there's nothing more on those cards. Yeah, we looked in all these. Uh -huh. Well, I count it as a win. Yeah, okay, 23. We, we got the idea of what yeah. we were supposed to do. <laughs> Card 23. Still, I'd yeah. like to know where I goofed. Well, maybe we've done something out of order. I don't think so. Okay, and we were looking for what now? Uh, the hourglass. No, what oh. are we looking for? So yes. instead of en uh, entering something on the coda disc, you are supposed to look directly at the answer card 23. Take a look at answer card 23. So, okay, so we can't go through the red door because that's literally nothing, okay? We've already done the top one there. Is it this one? No, we opened that one already, right? No, this. <gasps> it is this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you open the box. This okay. is the box. Yay. And it actually even has the symbol, symbol on, on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't see it over there. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, we didn't know what we were opening. Yep. The box. <laughs> no, it, we, that's why yeah, it's, it's super challenging. Okay, I, I figured it out. I'm like, we had to, we just had to process some elimination. Yeah. This, yeah. This thing. <laughs> inside, you find all sorts of things, including Ben's notebook. Maybe you'll find finally be able to find some clues inside about what might have happened to Ben. Exhausted, you take a look at the clock. A break seems like a good idea. You can oh, yeah. hardly formulate a clear thought, and you decide to take a rest. Stop the timer now. <gasps> this we did. Made it halfway. Ooh. Yay. Wow, we oh, actually, okay, yeah. yeah, so we'll save it, because we'll do a part two. Wow, that was challenging. About this was a, long this was, take. This was, it took about an hour and a half. Okay. Um, and the game is even telling us to take a break. Well, no, because it's, it's a two-parter, right? So this continues uh, in two parts, and this is the take a break section. This is where you get all the extra stuff, and there's more uh, fun. More, yeah. So uh, that is a part one of Exit the Game, Catacombs of Horror. Um, a few bumps. I uh, didn't have to solve all. We figured out a good, a good amount. Yeah, maybe a little over yeah. half. Um, 
We made it more challenging for ourselves in the beginning. <laughs> yes. And the, the, the takeaway is always to look, look at, at everything, everything for all the symbols. Uh -huh. Thanks, Max, for oh. playing with us, as well as Lupe, yeah, first time on the stream. Yeah, thanks and for having me. How was it? What do you think? It was fun. I'm like a little shy, <laughs> camera shy, but this was fun. Uh -huh. yeah. I, okay, I think that's it. As always, we look. Um, thanks for goodbye. watching. What? You can just say goodbye. Just say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Well, I want to say it again.